Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step method of how you can turn your picture into a pencil sketch with Adobe Photoshop. So first, you need to create a new document, then um, open the image we want to turn to a pencil sketch. You click on the image and you click open. Then I'm going to select the parts I want with the elliptical marker tool. So I'm just going to select the head. Select the head and I'm going to drag um, the selected parts to my new document. So I just click and drop on the new document. So now I'm going to resize the image to fit on the document. So I think I'm okay like this. So now I'm going to duplicate the image with Ctrl J or Command J on Mac. So now I'm going to click on the adjustment layer and select U in saturation. So now the saturation, I'm going to decrease it to desaturate the image. And now I'm going to press Ctrl I to invert the image. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to color dodge. I'm going to change the blending mode to color dodge. Now I'm going to click on the filter menu blur and click on Gaussian blur. So now I'm going to adjust the slider to fit um, my satisfaction. So I'm just going to adjust the slider a bit. So I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay like this. So press OK. Now click on the adjustment layer and choose brightness and contrast. Click on brightness and contrast. Now you're going to decrease the brightness and increase the contrast by adjusting um, the slider. So I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to increase the contrast. Adjust it to your satisfaction. So now click on the image and click Control L or Command L to pop out the level panel the level panel so adjust the the brightness reduce the brightness reduce the brightness adjust the slider to suit your your need so you click on ok so now we need to add some texture to our image so what we need to do now is click on Control alt shift e to merge the layers together or command alt shift e on your keyboard to merge the layer together after merging the layers together we convert the image to a smart object in order to work undestructively so now we go to filter we go to noise then we click on add noise so adjust the the amount the pixel adjust the 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 noise to your satisfaction if you're okay with the with the way it is just click on ok now we're going to select the layer layer max and click on the brush tool make sure your foreground color is set to black so now we're going to erase um, the part we don't need so I just want the noise to be applied to the face and to the face alone so I'm going to remove the noise from the background so I'm going to erase it make sure your, your foreground I'm going to erase with the brush tool and make sure your foreground is set to black. So black means you, you're removing why when you change your foreground to white, it means you, you're hiding. So I'm going to remove the part I don't want. Like so. So now I'm going to click on filter, sharpen, and um, smart sharpen. Adjust the layer to your satisfaction. Adjust the layer if you're okay with the way it is just click on okay so that is so once again we're going to merge the layers together Control alt shift e on windows and command alt shift e on mac to merge the layers into one then click on filter filter gallery <laughs> And we are going to choose the um, choose the poster edge. We are going to select the poster edge, then adjust the the slider to your satisfaction. So this effect, I just want to add this effect to the cap and 
um, the cap and some part of the face. So when you're through with this, just click on OK. I'm going to add layer marks. Then I'm going to take away the part I don't want with the brush tool. Uh, make sure your foreground color is set to black. So I'm going to take take away the part I don't want in this image. So as you can see, I don't want the poster edge effect to show on the face. So I'm going to erase that part, um, the part I don't need from the from the face. I'm going to change my foreground color back to white to reveal some parts like the the eyeball, then the eyebrow, the eyebrow. So I'm just going to add um, the effect on those parts. If you're okay with that, we are going to change the blending mode to um, just choose any blending mode that suits what you want. Just choose any, just try different blending mode. If you're okay with the multiply, the darken, the color bone, the linear bone, and so on and so forth, just choose anyone you you know you're okay with. So reduce the opacity to maybe 75 or 50. Just try different numbers, and you, you get different results depending on the image you're using. So now, I'm going to bring in um, my pencil. So I'm going to click and drag in my pencil to the image. Um, now I'm going to resize the, the pencil. I'm going to then I'm going to use the, uh, the perspective to, to adjust the pencil to suit what I really want. So, you just adjust it. Having done this, I'm going to select control click on the pencil to select the pencil or command click on the pencil to select. So now I'm going to fill the pencil with black. I'm going to fill it with black. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Then I'm going to click on the paint bucket to fill the pencil with black. So now I'm going to um, drag the, the, the field layer, the pencil field layer. I'm going to drag it to the bottom of the pencil. So I'm going to move it to the bottom of the pencil. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity of the field layer. I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm going to reduce the opacity of the field layer. I'm trying to create a shadow of the pencil. So
to click on the text tool and write um, J Multimedia and that's all. So I think So that will be all for now. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, J Multimedia, for more videos. And please, if you have any question, just drop it on the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.